Hey y'all, it's Krista. Um, so my husband is currently working nights, so just me today. Um, so I'm going to do a painting today that is um, from an artist that, um, you know, it's it just hurts my heart a lot to find out that Erica from uh, Erica Arts um, has passed. And um, she's one of the people I started watching when I started uh, doing video or when I started painting. And one of the pieces that really struck me hard was a wave. And it's not like a wave where it looks like it belongs on a beach or anything. It's kind of a ripple that you shake back and forth as you're moving it down the canvas. So my husband's gonna kill me, but I am using his um, drywall mud tray. I'll have to make sure I get it almost as clean as what he has left it for me. I actually tried to scrub it out as best I could, but um, some of it just doesn't want to come off. So um, I'm going to layer this up and then I'm going to shake it down the canvas and create some waves. But let me tell you what colors I'm going to use. Um, the Amsterdams I'm using are Kaput Mortem, and this was one of Erica's favorites, the uh, Permanent Blue Violet, and of course Titanium White. And in the Titanium White, I added a little bit of Satin Enamel because she actually got cells in her wave, and um, I want to try to do the same thing. Uh, I'm also using some PBOs, uh, the violet blue, uh, iridescent violet blue, and the iridescent blue green. And you know I can't help myself, I'm using 24K. Um, so the way that she, do, she did this was that she layered it kind of like I do a sandwich pour, and I'm dying to see um, what it does with mix. So let's get this layered up and um, I'll do my best to show you what I'm doing here because I know that it's kind of a weird uh, angle with it being red and everything. So I believe the one that I watched her, her do today, she started with the permanent blue violet and she just kind of layers it in there kind of like a sandwich pour and I have no idea if I've made enough paint up to do this but um, if I if I have to I will use some leftovers to get this done um, so I've got that down and then I think I want to put in my 24K. Let me stir it up a little bit. So I'm just layering it on the top and laying it kind of spread out. I'm hoping that my consistency is close to what she used. We'll see. And she kind of made it so that you couldn't see the bottom color under it hardly at all anymore. And I will post the link to this video um, in the description box so you can go and see her do it. Because, oh, I just loved how fancy free and how... Uh, and I loved her voice. Her voice was so nice to listen to. Um, she will be dearly missed. And I know that her and Fiona um, were good friends. So my heart goes out to Fiona. So just trying to And using gold, everything I'm putting on top of it is sinking, so 
I may not be able to cover that because, you know, densities, they get all weird like that. So let's put some white. Looks like the white's gonna stay on the top. That gold, it wants to pop up. It's trying, it's trying to be the boss. I'm not gonna let it be the boss. Okay, and then we'll use the iridescent blue-green. And the reason why I have to stir my paints is because when I let them sit, um, I spray the top of them so that the top layer doesn't get crusty, and then I just mix it in. I just spray it with my spray bottle. just to kind of uh, put it to sleep a little bit without it getting crusties on it. When I worked in the factory, that's what they called it at night when they weren't finished with a batch. Um, they called it putting, putting it to bed so uh, or floating it, either one. But you get the, you get the gist. All right, and then I'm gonna use the violet, iridescent violet blue. Oh, I didn't mix this one. And we're just gonna put this on, just like I would a sandwich pour, except there's no um, putting white, you know, thick things of white on either side. It's just kind of, um, layering the colors on top of each other. Okay. Then we will go back to the white. layer that in there. This thing holds a lot of paint and I don't I don't feel like I have a lot of paint in here. So keeping our fingers crossed, right? Because this is the first time I'm attempting it. I didn't practice first, which you know sometimes you just gotta go for it. We're all learning together. Okay, and do the gold. And we're just going back and forth. canvas is really long. It's a 12 by 36. But I thought it'd be a cool canvas to put a wave on. Okay. And then we'll do Kaput Mortem. This color gets made fun of a lot in the groups that I'm in because they can never remember what the color is, but they pick on me about it because it's a funny name for a color. But man, do I love it. This color is awesome. All right, I'm gonna empty this cup. Okay, 
put that aside. And let's use the blue green. I think I'm gonna use this cup up too. Now I know why Erica didn't use gold. Gold doesn't know how to behave. It tries to be the boss for sure. But you know, I can't help myself. I always have to use gold. It's so pretty and it makes amazing cells. Okay. And then let's use the blue violet. We're gonna empty this one out too. I don't know what kind of king size mess I'm gonna make either. But you know what? It's okay. Because this is a little bit thicker than the canvas, so it's I may have to hold it at an angle a little bit so I'm not just dumping paint onto my table. So I had a treat for dinner today. My son and his best friend made tacos and I didn't have to cook. I'm all about some tacos. Tacos are yummy. They make my belly happy. And what's best about it? I didn't have to make them. So, Damien and Alex, thank you so much. I have a happy tummy. Now you're all going tacos, because you know, I don't know anybody that doesn't like tacos because you can literally put anything you want into a taco. It does not have to be a meat taco. It could be vegetarian taco. It could be, you know, a dessert taco. You do whatever you want. All right, so just because I want to empty my cups, because I feel like I don't have enough paint. I'm just gonna kinda drizzle this down kind of evenly so that I don't have white in one spot and not in another, because that would be weird. I'll scrape this cup out too. set that up there so I can wash all my cups. I soak them in a bucket so that um, I can reuse them. Because why not, right? Saves me money. Okay, and I'm gonna scrape this cup too. All right, I hope y'all have your fingers crossed for me. Because I don't have any other paint mixed up. Well, I do, but I have leftovers. You know all the awesome things you can make with leftovers. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to, let's see what I did here. So it's about half full, so keep my fingers crossed. All right, we're gonna do an Erica Hughes, or not Erica Hughes, but Erica Art Wave. All right, let's go.
See how I'm just jiggling it back and forth? Man, you gotta keep this level. It's way hard to keep it level. She's definitely the pro, right? It's way harder than it looks, and I think I bit off more than I can chew, but who knows what I'm gonna end up with, right? Could end up with something really cool. Since I know I'm at the end, I'm just going to stop it. And I definitely have to set this aside because I'm going to have to wash that. Because my husband will throw a hissy fit. Okay. So, this is kind of cool. I mean, for a first attempt, I don't think I did terrible. But there's a ton of bubbles in here, so I'm definitely having a torch. It's definitely a learning curve to this. Hold your thing straight. Because <laughs> I was all over the place. She made it look easy, y'all. It's definitely not as easy as it looked. Wow, the bubbles. Okay. There are a bunch. I think it's because I was shaking it as I was um, pouring it out. So it just naturally created bubbles. Okay, yes, I'm still torching. I know, I'm hurrying. Okay. Now that my thing's gonna be out of propane or butane. All right, so when she did it, she just started tilting off the side that she wasn't a big fan of. So that's what we're gonna do. But I think I wanna go off this way now that my paint's in the center. I'm gonna bring it back because I have a ton of paint on here. And then as I get down to there, where my heavy paint is, I'm just gonna go over the edge. And then I'm gonna bring it back. And then I'll keep going this way. And I think I'm gonna take it off this corner Erica making, making that look so easy. I hope she's watching me right now and giggling. <laughs> she's probably like, crazy girl, what are you doing? I wouldn't do it like that. She's yelling at me, right? So I'm hitting this corner over here and then I'm gonna bring it back. Okay, then I'm gonna go down this way. And because the weight is about in the middle, I'm gonna tilt it my way. 
because my side does not have paint on it. Just a little bit, then I'm gonna bring it back. And then because my paint is still there, I'm gonna keep going this way. The transparency in here is ridiculous, y'all. What a cool way to use mix. Now I'm gonna take it off this corner because the weight of the paint is down there. But I wanna try to walk it because it's trying to go off the side and I don't wanna lose. Okay, I made it and then I'm gonna go off this way. Go to this corner. And it's taking its sweet old time. Okay. I don't think I made it yet. And now I made it. Okay. So now I'm gonna bring it back again. And I want to try to get my paint centered back in the middle again so it doesn't dry all weird. You know, I still have a ton of bubbles in here. So I'm going to turn this corner over here. So I have enough paint on my gloves. Might as well, right? Okay, and then I'll check this corner. And then we'll come down to this corner. Okay. All right. It's definitely nothing like hers because she was definitely the master of this, but, oh man, I'm getting paint on myself. I pride myself on not getting dirty when I paint. People always think I'm an anomaly because I don't become a mess, but it's just years of doing artwork. All right, I'm gonna torch these bubbles now that I've stretched it out and see what happens. Then I'm gonna bring y'all down for a close-up. So I don't know if this is a keeper or whether it's a paint over it later, but I have to wait to see when it dries. So I'm not gonna make that judgment until it's dry. Or y'all tell me. If it's a do-over, tell me. I need to know, I need to hear these kind of things. It's okay. I have thick skin. If you like it, let me know. If you don't, I want to know that too. All right, let's take a closer peek. Okay. So, this is what I got. I got sweet cell action. I have really, really cool transparency. The colors are way lighter than what you're seeing, but that always happens. But so you can see I have a little bit of the ribbons in there. I love how these bubbles made it look like they were little flowers almost. It's kind of cool. Well, it definitely doesn't look like a wave, but it's pretty cool. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this yet, but I'll definitely post it. This 
some of the transparency right there. Just cool little cells. That's kind of cool right there. Okay. There she is. And I had a lot of you ask to see dried results of my last pour. So we'll go take a peek at that. Here is the dried results of my last pour. Dried really nice. I'm not upset. All right, y'all. I hope you have a really wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.